Got the two charges up. That's the state trooper charger. It's your boy Two Time Moto TV, and we back with another video, guys. Today we got the 2017 Scat Pack. How you doing, brother? Yeah, we're gonna be doing uh, resonator deletes, and uh, we're gonna put his two stock mufflers back on. So hopefully they can do it today. They're saying that they may or may not have time, so we're just gonna take a look at it thus far. But yeah, guys. So far right now, he has two flow masters on there, but everything else is factory. She sound good, that is, but she can definitely sound a lot better. So uh, we realized that once we put the stock mufflers back on, he had like a lot more like kind of backfire and like the popping noise, how we really want to hear muscle car sound um, as he's shifting gears or as he's going through gears. But yeah, so. They gonna delete those two resonators that are nothing but silencers, guys. Those resonators on any vehicle are there just to quiet down the exhaust on your vehicle. So we're gonna see if we can get those two deleted and then we're gonna check out everything else that we got up underneath the car, so. Y'all see that scat, man. Ain't nothing like that American muscle. So yeah, y'all stay tuned, man. They about to put it up on the lift and we about to figure out everything that's going on. So yeah, we'll be right back with you. He got original 40 series flow masters. I don't hear right now, guys. And they did say that they were gonna be able to do it for us. Uh, they let us know that it's gonna be a little bit quieter, but uh, my brother and stuff, he already know what the other mufflers sound like and so do I. And yes, it does sound a lot better. So uh, we know the sound that we're gonna get from the stock mufflers with the resonators deleted is the other thing that we just don't know yet how it's gonna sound, but it's definitely gonna be a little bit louder than what it is right now. Um, and it should sound a lot better with the um, with the baffling noise and the popping and stuff. That's why we like, both our bikes do that. Uh, our cars do that. Like, yeah, man, it's something about that popping when you either changing gears or downshifting that blah, 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 blah. That's what we love, man, so. Yeah, I know I probably look foolish doing that, but I don't care. <laughs> That's basically what it sound like. But yeah, guys, so they about to get them right, and I'll just show y'all the steps as we go along. This is the stock pipe that he's putting back. And this is the old 40 series flow master that's coming off of it. So yeah, we got two of them. I'll let you guys look at the inside. It just got baffles in it. There is no chambers like the flow masters. So it's just baffles in it. This right here has chambers in it. You can see where they welded it on the outside. And yeah, he about to get us right. All right, guys, so we got the finished product here. As y'all see, we got some nice welds. So we had to drop down to two and a half inch from two and three quarters to two and a half inches. It's the only pipe that they had. But as you guys see, you either need it to be bigger or smaller. So, you know, we got a pretty good size pipe right here. Everything is straight. The wheels look pretty good. All the way around. You got a hanger here, so his pipes ain't going nowhere, y'all. Dang, they hot. Jesus. All right, got the stock mufflers back on here. The wheels look great, guys. I am pleased. Two to three quarter. It's an odd size that they use. I don't know why. 
So yeah, man, we're gonna probably do a cat back system one of these days as well, but we just wanna see what this is gonna sound like with the resonators deleted. So y'all see they are deleted. And with the stock mufflers back on, these are the 40 series Flowmasters. I believe he's talking about selling them. So uh, yeah, guys, let me know in the uh, comments below if you guys want these 40 series. They are in great shape. They just look like this. Just normal wear. So yeah, we about to start this puppy on up, man. I want y'all to get a good glance of the rear as well. They got them sitting nice and flush, squared off. So yeah, we about to start up, man, and see what she talking about. Yeah. Um, also get some money. No, I'm just kidding. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that's gonna probably get people to come to the shop. Yeah. Really. But that's that's. I love dogs, man. They look good. They sound good. Especially these. The, the scat packs. And mm -hmm. We did a Hellcat. What we do that Hellcat? We we took the rear mufflers off it and left the resonators. I'm yeah. pretty sure. Yep. And that thing was screaming. Wow. It was nasty. Like it is wild the way these things sound. And I, again, you you pretty much got straight duels other than that H pipe right there. Like your true duels all the way. But then you got an H pipe. Right. So one thing you could do is straight. Just run straight pipe here. Because the way I look at it is. Essentially, exhaust is like having two streams of water, okay? Mm -hmm. When you cross the two streams, you lose flow, right? Mm -hmm. Because it's two streams fighting against each other. They hit and then they slow down. Mm -hmm. If you straight pipe it, they're both flowing on their own. So it's gonna give you more flow. And that's what exhaust is. What makes cars loud is the faster the exhaust flows. Right. It's really not It's not the, the, thick, the diameter of the pipe. None of that matters. It's all about how fast it flows from point A to point B. And if you go too big, mm -hmm. you actually lose back pressure and the engine will feel flat because it has to have back pressure. If you don't okay. have some back pressure, you'll actually lose power. Okay, I've, that I've, makes sense. I've felt it on my truck. I've, I've run a straight pipe on my truck and at high RPMs, it just falls flat on its face wow. because it, I didn't have no back pressure. Okay. I run true dual straight pipes, and that thing, it sounded, it was louder than hell. I mean, it sounded good, but at high RPMs, it, it fall on its face. Wow. And I put mufflers on it, and it stopped it. So it, it, it didn't make torque at top, or it didn't? It just, it, it failed. Wow. Like, you you could feel it. It pulled all its about 4,000 RPMs, and that was it. That's just having a bigger diameter pipe, is what you're saying? Right, yes. Okay. If you run, if you run too, back pressure. Right. If you run too big okay. of a pipe, you'll lose back pressure, and you can lose. Everybody thinks that the bigger the pipe, the less resistance, you're going to have more power and more sound. Right. If you have more sound, but you actually lose power. Wow. You have to have some form of back pressure. Unless it's a built motor, like a legit built auto ship motor, you yeah. have to have some form of back pressure. You see, I was always thinking that some cars didn't have have to have as much back pressure as others. Like, right, so like on a four cylinder or a V6, mm -hmm. you want more back pressure. Because the less back pressure you get, then the more it sounds like a, a bumblebee coming by. Okay. When you hear them like that, they have zero back pressure at all. They probably got headers and straight pipe. Okay. And that's what makes them sound that way. And it's the same with these. I'm sure you've heard them, them trucks that are like a drag in the rear bumper. Yeah. You hear how they're crackling and popping. Mm -hmm. yeah, you know, the, the kids call it clapping, apparently. I learned this like two weeks ago. <laughs> they call it clapping. Dude come in and say, I want my truck to clap. I said, what the hell is <laughs> He said, you know, when you're on the gas, you hear pop, pop, pop. I yeah. said, I wanted to clap. I said, what the hell? But anyways, that's that's what it is. You okay. get too much flow, and that's what starts to make it clap. Okay. And when they wow. clap, it's guaranteed you're going to lose power. Wow. Like okay. it's... To them, it sounds cool. I think it sounds like <laughs> yeah. You know, it don't sound good. Yeah. There, there's no way. And that's what went on with my truck was I, I run true duels straight pipe, no mufflers. And it was clapping and all that other crap. Yeah, I'm like, no, I'm not 16. I, I seen know. that that was becoming a trend too yeah, around here, man, with the guys with the front lift and then the back just. Yeah. It's yeah. Kind of like I don't like it, but you know, some of them look it's, all right. It's something new. It's yeah, something, some I mean, of them look all right. New. It's something new. I can't make everybody's style. It's something all right. new. Yeah, all right. All right. So I'm yeah. not a fan. The way I look at it, if you're going to lift one, you're going to lift it. Lift it, yeah. Don't, don't do it. I, I don't see the point. Yeah. Yeah. I got a, a 2010 Silverado, okay. and I got a four-inch lift with 35-inch tires, and it's level. The only time you'll see my truck sit like that is if there's stuff. You got a load. Yeah. <laughs> the only time. Other than that. And you probably not. even hate when it looks like that when you got stuff in the back. You're like, oh, it look like she's scooting. <laughs> you know how kids are. It's, all, yeah. it's the new, like you're saying, it's the new thing. Yeah. And that's cool, man. Like I'm happy for them, but to me, it just. Yeah, it's not my taste either. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Hey guys, he was also explaining too up on these Dodge Chargers that this is the only brick 
that he has in his catalytic converter. So this bulge out part right here is the only brick of platinum that he has in here. The rest of this is empty. So, uh, yeah, guys, we're going to get a start up in just a second, man. He's going to lower it on down. <laughs> yes, sir. Hey, this is two time motor approved, guys. 